What's up? This is Matt Parsons from the Jet Sets, bringing you the Night House throwback recap from round nine. During the opening prime rush, Rick Anderson got called for a violation, entering the center ring before the ball was bounced. This gave the Night Owls an automatic possession, and they capitalized with a quick three points from Captain Luke Dugan. CBT, now playing as a crosser for the Night Owls, still found a way to hit his daily ring shot. Steve Botta left Jim Moran picking up his shorts after this nice move, scoring two from the wedge. And Steve Farris started warming up with this three-point shot from the flex. But it was all Night Owls from there on. Wedgeback Greg Ashton tallied six saves in the period, which sparked the offense. Jay Klein scored seven in the period, including this heads-up four-pointer. But Jeff Gerace wouldn't be outdone, making a steal first, then showing off his arm as the Night Owls hit another from the cross. At the end of one, Owls 50, T-backs 20. The Night Owls managed to win another prime rush, but this time they are unable to connect as Jake Klein just missed a dropkick. On the ensuing play, Steve Botta gave both the Post and Nate Prangubra a kiss on his way to three from this tough angle. After good ball movement from Klein to Tolski, CVT spots up and hits another six-point ring shot giving the T-backs a short lesson on shooting form. Jay Klein and Jim Rizzo get into a wrestling match here, and the little guy came out on top, sending the ball to Dugan, who gets robbed by Steve Botta. Steve notched six saves in the second. Tolski clamped down defensively for the Night Owls, grabbing his own six saves in the period. Even though the throwbacks were struggling in this game, Steve Farris wasn't willing to quit. He scored 24 points in the second and even showed CBT he's got some of his own touch too. Kyle McGrath responded with this six-point shot. He finished with 21 on the game. The Owls still had a commanding lead after two, 105 to 66. For the third time in a row, the Owls took the prime rush. CVT just missed on this bomb from the cross, and with the T-backs trailing, they had to take advantage. Jim Rizzo followed suit, sneaking this one past Monroe. Greg Ashton showed he can play a little offense too with this fancy footwork. Ashton also finished the day leading all wedgebacks with 14 saves, including this trip up the elevator. Steve Lavolsi turned a steal into gold for Jay Klein, allowing him to score his second shot from the cross. Then it was highlight time for Klein, faking a pass and finishing a drop kick showing his left foot is just as dangerous as his right. Luke Dugan led the offensive assault from the Owls with 27 points on their way to a 154-108 victory. For more stats and stories, visit chronome.com.